evolves, so does our knowledge of its values and risk. Alyssa Munoz spoke with a teacher in Rio Rancho about how students as young and as elementary school are actually guided to use this safely. Well, Sasha, this program started last year with 11 elementary schools in Rio Rancho, and now it's expanding to three middle schools. Digital Defender, a new online educational program teaching safe online behavior. Rio Rancho technology teacher Tiffany Hale says it's important to teach students early on. Challenges that come with using technology nowadays, and as you said, our youngest consumers are the ones that we really need to equip. According to the Pew Research Center, 60% of parents say their children, 12 and younger, interacted with a smartphone. Now 6 in 10 say their child was introduced to it before the age of 5. This is why Hale says it's imperative to teach students. Focus each week on a different cyber safety topic. So it could be anything from teaching students how to protect their digital footprint to teaching them how to be kind online, how to respond if they encounter someone online who doesn't seem safe or doesn't seem like they are following the rules. Pew Research Center also found about 46% of parents are worried their children will be exposed to explicit content. Hale believes guiding children to be safe online is important to prevent that, but also says the internet isn't all bad. But we also have to recognize that technology is a fantastic tool for our students and the jobs that our current learners are going to exit school and enter the workforce in are jobs that don't even exist right now. The program uses cyber safety games and digital books to educate students. Last year, almost 200 students went through the program. Now the program started October 1st and will run until November 19th, both before and after school. I'm Alyssa Munoz, KBT Action 7 News. Alyssa, thank you. This is a free program. You can find more about it by visiting our website. <laughs>